This is Will Lindsay Otta, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the incredible music artist, the one and only, Viletska. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at the brand new music video for her single, Changes. Fighting on the linen blouse and you can tell my friends I'll be late. Sometimes I just need time to escape. Well, hello, Beletska. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> Beletska, it is so nice to meet you. My goodness. Born in Ukraine, you've lived in New York. Now you're in Nashville. You are already for someone so young, so acclaimed. You've performed all over. The audience just got a sneak peek of the new music video that's coming out for a song you've put out, you know, a, a little bit back called Changes. Talk to me a little bit about the music video and the idea behind it for you. So ideas about it, just like to show me that I could be different, to show myself from different angles, how um, I'm attached to all those surroundings and what I'm feeling inside while I'm like, you know, shooting it over there. But basically the idea is life is moving you know you never stop and every day you can be a better person do whatever things you want and it's just everything about changes you know well look at i think it's something that we can all relate to now more than ever i think these past two years Valetska, and me talking with artists all over the world whether or not they were able or able to speak english or whatever language or culture everyone has been forced to change in some way and move forward and maybe now more than ever step into their power but when I think of you Beletska in all of my research on you you've stepped into your power long long ago it actually makes me a little teary-eyed thinking about it I mean you grew up in Ukraine but you risked it all as a young right. woman of, a, of, of, of the world and, and, and came to the United States talk to me about where you get this grit from you know, since uh, like the kindergarten, I've been studying English language um, and I have like two degrees in languages. And I always knew that I'm gonna move one day to the United States and I only wanna live there. Actually, I always wanted to live in New York. And eventually one day, you know, when I have like a love of my life and great career, I'll move there. But right now the place to be is Nashville for like, you know, musician. But I mean, it took a lot of courage because I was leaving my family. They're still there. And I don't know if you've heard about all this situation between Russia and Ukraine right now. I'm kind of really worried about them. Yeah. Uh, I actually already got tickets to Ukraine for like June. So hopefully before that, they don't close the borders or something like that and everything's going to be fine. But yeah, my family really didn't want me to move to the United States. Like, they just want me to settle down there, find like some businessmen, you know, <laughs> and just cook and, you know, do some boring stuff. But that's what most families in Ukraine, I feel like. Um, but I've been like, started working since I was 15 years old. And like, until now, you know, I was taken care of by myself and I'm still taking care even of my family. Um, but let's go, that's absolutely, incredible and look at as nervous as they may be at times i'm sure that they're so proud of you yeah they are <laughs> they're really happy for me right now that like now that they they see that i'm actually doing something and it's uh bringing some results you know absolutely well listen i want to know what you've been able to work on these past two years i know that you've been quite busy in a, a lot of creating uh, but talk to the audience a little bit about uh, what, what, not only what you were able to create during these past two years, but maybe some things we can look forward to from you in terms of releases. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started working on my solo project in 2020. And since then I released uh, four songs and I'm recording right now an EP that I'm gonna release like um, in the summer. And I did my music video that I'm gonna release on uh, February 22. 
And then I'm shooting another one for the, the song I'm recording at the moment. And also I'm still a part of the other project. It's more like a, I'm more on a pop side and that more on electronic kind of indie side, the project. And we recorded eight songs at the moment and we're releasing another one this month as well. It's called Cosmo Santo. Yeah, and we have a show scheduled for the like late February. So I don't know, a bunch of things going We're on. About. Actually, I just got a, a sync uh, licensing opportunity um, and just my lawyer reviewing everything. So, you know, everything's going to be fair because I never signed any like contract like that before. Don't want anybody screw me over, you know? <laughs> you have to be careful. <laughs> But you know, you're, yeah. you're so smart. And I feel like every step of the way you've had to be, right? I mean, coming here from Ukraine with very little literally in your pocket and here you are. Yeah, I literally came here with $400. <laughs> and you, look, look at this life you've built for yourself. Look at, I, before I ask my final question, Baletska, I wanna let everyone know for more on the incredible Baletska, everything she has coming up, all that she's done already, feel free to please go to the links below. Baletska, I mean, I'm speaking with you and I keep thinking of all the young Baletskas out there who may be <laughs> in different countries all over the world, who may, you know, be hearing from their families, oh, you know, just stay in the kitchen, marry wealthy and you'll live a happy life. What mm -hmm. advice would you give to those young girls, especially, who want to get up and get out of their current circumstance and pursue their dreams? I would tell them that you always need to think about yourself first, not your parents, not your boyfriend, not your best friends. You are who you are because of what you're thinking about yourself and only you can make yourself, you know, to get out there and make your dream come true. Now, nobody else is going to do that for you, you know? Amen. So people just need to have a little more belief in themselves and for us to start everything because it's better to do something and then regret it than don't do anything and don't, you know, and just regret that. Amen. Wow. Valetska, you're incredible. I'm so excited. You're <laughs> Are you making me shy? <laughs> oh, you're making me cry. I'm making you shy. You're making me cry. Listen, I'm so excited you're coming on board this amazing new social media app, Phoenix 360, but also I'm so excited that we're now connected and hopefully one day we'll get to collaborate. Sure. Thank you so much for your time. It Thank was a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.